Hi, good morning, guys. So here we go. We're getting uh, getting the packs ready to ready to go right now. We're gonna take off and get up on top of this high point and camp out and just glass for deer this morning. Hopefully, we can find something and uh, put something together. So. Hi right, guys, what's going on? So we just got back from the morning hunt. Saw some uh, some deer. Saw some elk. Saw some javelina. I didn't I didn't get to see the elk and javelina. Uh, Matt saw those on the side of the hill he was sitting on. But uh, we saw a buck. I saw a buck. I couldn't get a good look at him. The trees where he was at were were so thick. It was it was hard to get a good clean look at him. Um, he did look like he had a decent frame. So. There's a pond really close to where he's at, so we're gonna uh, I'm gonna put Matt on the pond tonight, and I'm gonna get up above there and, and just glass all the country around him. But I'll be close enough that if I find something, I can go get him, and uh, we can try to make a move on it if it's if we have enough daylight, that is. But we're back to the ranch. Um, gonna eat some lunch. Matt had to run into town really quick. And I finally did something that I've been wanting to do for years. Every time I come down here, I look at the bowl that's up on the roof right there. I don't know if you can see it. I've wanted to take that thing down and score it ever since. I, and it's not, I don't think he's giant. I'm just curious because he's got, he does have a lot of long characteristics and uh, he's got extras. So I've always had this thought in my mind and uh, I gotta say, if if he wasn't all broken and rotted away, I was I was only a couple inches off. And uh, yeah, I'm just <laughs> he's cool. He's so cool. I mean, he's got these extras in the back. Look the way that thing turns in like that. But he's lost a lot of beam. Um, on both sides, he's, those have rotted and broke off. There's actually antler fragments on the roof. He's, uh, he's narrower than he was. He's, he's collapsing in on himself and he's splitting really bad. Still has some velvet on him, but cool, cool bull. I figured he was pushing about 360 and, uh, as he is right there, unbroken or unrotted off and broken, um, he's 344. So I figured if if you give him just a couple inches on everything that's, you know, on all the, like a couple inches on the beams and an inch on each tine, he's he's there. That's pretty close. But yeah, so I just got done scoring that and playing with that. Now I'm gonna go in. Oh, you focus there. Now I'm gonna go in and cook some lunch and uh, spend some time on Google Earth. So, see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it's the evening hunt. I, uh, I dropped Matt off down here on this water, and then I just got done hiking up on top of this. Uh, it's like hill, basically. It pops out in the middle here. I'm set up to start glass, and we're gonna just hang here all night, all, all evening, and uh, hopefully something comes in the water for Matt. If not, hopefully I turn something up for uh, tomorrow, but if not, then we're going to change it up again, try something different, so we'll see what happens, fingers crossed. <laughs> Better get the, the video recording stuff out, so if I do see something, I can get recording.
All right, guys, we are back to the ranch house, uh, lodge, and uh, we've had dinner. Had some shrimp and green beans, uh, fresh green beans. And now we're going to sit down and start editing some video. That way we can get stuff posted and start the daily, uh, daily show. So I appreciate everything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.